Yo, what's going on guys? This is Brent again, and in this tutorial, we're gonna start coding our first part of our full stack application, the server. As with any good project, we're gonna need some modules to work with. So let's go ahead and initialize our package.json file, npm init. This is gonna be setting up how we're gonna work with our workspace here. The name of our workspace is going to be, uh, I don't know, let's do Brent Arelli Portfolio. Uh, we're going to do version 0 .0 0 0.0.1. Uh, description, Brent uh, portfolio. If I can spell, as per usual. Entry point is our server.js file. This is the file that will be executed, so we can just go ahead and hit enter there. We don't need a test command. We don't need a git repository. We don't need any keywords right now. Brent Arelli is the author. And we'll just do brentorelli gmail.com. License ISC is fine. And is this okay? Yes. And so that went ahead and created our package.json file. Let's look at it really quick. And right now it doesn't have any dependencies. So let's go ahead and start bringing them in. The first one we're going to use is npm install express, which is a web framework for Node.js. Uh, and then we'll dash dash save that. Let that install. Next, let's grab uh, EJS, npm install EJS, save that to our package.json file. So like I said, Express.js uh, is a fast, unopinionated, minimalist web framework for Node.js. Basically, we're going to be using it for routing and some other stuff to route traffic between web pages. Um, if you want some more information about this, you can go to expressjs.com. So EJS is actually a template engine. It combines HTML and JavaScript. So, uh, and basically data from the server. So it takes data from the server, combines it with HTML inside of an EJS file, and then outputs an HTML uh, file that the client can render. So now that we got some modules, let's get to work. We're gonna open up our server.js file. We're gonna create a new variable called express, and that's gonna equal require express. Uh, then the next part is our app, uh, variable app equals uh, express the function. Then we're going to create a new port. And with, um, as opposed to previous tutorials where we use like port 8080, we're going to do, um, because we're using cloud nine, we're going to use process environment dot port. Now that lets Cloud9 decide which port to run our server on. Um, next, we're going to set our view engine. So app.set um, view engine. And of course, we decided that we're gonna use the EJS. There's some other view engines, like uh, specifically Jade. A lot of people use that. Um, next, we're gonna say, I'm gonna do some little uh, tinkering around with the, the typical Node.js file hierarchy. I'm gonna put our views inside of our public or what I'm going to call the client uh, folder. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do app.set views. This is where all of our views are going to go. And we're going to do path.resolve. And I'll explain that to you in one moment. And direct na directory name. Uh, and then client. And then views. And I'm going to create that right now. Path.resolve basically combines all three of these, okay? So it's, it's basically like saying CD uh, directory name, which will bring up uh, Brunarelli portfolio that returns that basically, or, or workspace. Then CD uh, client, which I'm gonna create a new um, folder here called client. And then inside client, we're gonna do a new folder called views. And of course, this would be like CD views. Now this whole line tells Node.js where to look in our fire file structure to find our EJS files. Okay, so now let's create our first route, app.get. Um, anytime anybody goes to the base directory, we're going to run this function, request and response. Um, and we're going to re respond with by rendering our index.ejs file. And so let's go ahead and create that now. Uh, inside of our views, that's where our, our uh, views are gonna be. Uh, new file, index.ejs. We'll double click here. 
And then we're just gonna type in hello world and save that. Last thing we gotta do to get our server up and running, all we gotta do is tell it to listen on a specific port. So app.listen on the port we declared above. And then this is the callback function. So we'll just console.log uh, server running port and then plus port. Save that. So when I attempted to run it, it says path is not defined. And of course we didn't define path up above. So we're gonna create a new variable called path and that equals require path, which is a native module in Node.js. Save that and go ahead and hit run down here. And then all we're going to have to do is hit refresh here and you'll see hello world. That's our first web app. So with just like 12 lines of code, we've got our first part of our full stack basically, you know, running, just the basics, uh, serving content to our users. So that's it for this tutorial. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. If, of course, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time.